the fight to stop the illegal trade in wildlife and other restricted items is about to get a new hero, the African poached rat. This rodent is trainable, has strong sensing abilities and is manageable. And the Endangered Wildlife Trust will be using the rats to sniff out pangolins in hardwoods because sniffer dogs simply cannot match where the rats can go, especially in a shipping and container port environment. Already they have been successfully used to detect landmines and can also help medical teams detect tuberculosis. The EWT got funding from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Services and has 12 months to test proof this concept. They are a month old, um, the rats that we're going to be using. In another month, so at the moment they're being socialized and habituated to people and so on. In another month they will start their training, which is all based on clicker training, um, positive reinforcement. And we estimate that within six to eight months from that, we will know definitively if they can differentiate the wildlife sense that we are targeting them on, which is pangolins and um, hardwoods. Um, and, in, and also we need to develop some sort of indication system. How are they going to be able to tell us that they've found something, um, which is, would be appropriate in a port environment. Currently with the landmines, they scratch. Um, but we, what we've thought of are things like ringing a bell um, or even putting a little GoPro.